This is a rough cut of the life scoop rescue system to retrieve unconscious victims. We're on the Potomac, FDR's old boat that he used to have in the Potomac in Washington, D.C. during World War II. The victim falls in the water. Here we see the rescue team bolting, uh, putting on a pin that, that, that connects the life scoop handle to the life scoop itself with the telescopic pole. They are extending the life scoop pole right now. It clicks into place. It's 23 feet long, this particular telescopic pole. They're extending it all the way. They're now lifting it up and they're going to drop it over the side. Victim still in the water. They're dropping it in the water. And there's a, there's a red line, a pull line, attached to a segment of the life scoop. And that is ultimately the load-bearing line that will lift the victim. The scoop is in the water at a minute and six seconds. It's being articulated over to the victim itself. And by having foam on it, it's just enough buoyancy to keep the edge up. They're articulating it around the victim itself. And once the victim is, is in the basket, the natural gravity will have the victim sink to the lower part of the basket. And notice the red line now is torquing upwards. And it's going to winch on the deck. And as the life scoop comes up, at this stage, the telescopic pole will be collapsed. And the red line is the load-bearing line that is pulling the victim up. The victim is all the way near to the tow rail on this particular boat, and they're being brought on board by the rescuers from the tow rail. Here is uh, Lynn uh, just showing how easy it is to articulate the basket back and forth. And ultimately, this is the technique used to uh, get the victim inside of the basket itself.